All right, guys, my fans of my K-pop reactions, I am back. I have been a little bit absent. I have been busy just with other videos and work, but if you guys have continued to stick around, I appreciate it. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, man. Come on, help a brother out. It's crazy to think that my videos in the past like 30 days have been seen by 3.5 million people but it's only getting like a couple of likes, a couple hundred likes, and I only have 1,600 subs. Come on, 3.5 million, and then no one's subbing. So if you can, sub. And I'm on a discovery, and you guys know me, and you guys have been knowing me for a couple months now. You know that I love music, but I've also lived under a rock. I have not experienced anything new, and I'm trying to learn, and I'm trying to learn and just branch out, and just uh, I don't want to waste my life uh not knowing things i want to experience new stuff and that's why i i get into music it inspires me but anyways i came across uh, bts a couple months ago loved them have not finished my journey yet so i'm going to continue to do bts as well but apparently there's this other group that i did not uh, know about and you guys are going to laugh at me when you see this video because when i came across the uh in hypen i know i've been saying it wrong and right some days i say it better than others but I thought that that was just a single artist, but looking at this color-coded uh, thing that I love, because BTS uses this color-coded stuff too, or whoever does this does that for BTS, and I am seeing now that there's seven people, in, uh, uh, seven looks like males in this group as well. Is that the case? So is in Hypen, uh, in Hypen, is that it, it, now? Is that a group name or is that just a singer name? Because I'm not seeing in Hypen on any of the names here. So if that's the case, just put that in the comments because, again, I'm trying to learn uh, on, uh, who these guys are and see what their kind of music is. But I just picked a random song I found on the list because I typed in and hype in sad songs and I just wanted to find some sad because I love sad music. If you've been following me, you know that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to listen to Blossom. Hopefully this song is good. I'm excited because I see a bunch of them, so I'm seeing that all of them are going to be on this. Let's uh, continue it. And, uh, yeah. All right, sounds like my style already, boy. Let's go. Turn this up. Ooh. Ooh, I am liking this sound so far. I'm just going to stop it right there because I'm a sucker for sad songs. If you guys have been watching me, you know that. I love sad stuff, and I can break down the sad stuff probably a lot more than anything else. But so far, I love the part right here. It looks like it's going in Hesong is probably the Hesong. I don't know how you say his first name, but it sounds like he's the one that's starting it off here. No, 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 he's not. It's Jung Jungwon is the one starting it off here. I think because it's highlighting in that. But anyway, he's saying the time he's saying here, the time we couldn't meet left me with anxiety and I felt warmth in my heart. That's pretty deep. We can dissect that more, but I want to continue to see what else is uh, going to say after that. So let's go. <laughs> yeah, so it is changing. Okay. Nice. I got a feeling that uh, this group is just as big as, I don't know, are they just as big as BTS or just they're rising to be at that level? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, so far it sounds like a love song being away and the, you got this feeling, right? You're like over, like filled with this emotions and, uh, and you're trying to show that love, I guess. Let's keep going.
so far it's like a it's like a poppy sad song i think it's definitely a song that you would hear in a concert because it's they're expressing their like hey we love you basically and uh and it's hard to say if it's for a girl or that's the the purpose of it because i feel like bts kind of sings to their fans even though some of their songs i feel like it's singing to a woman or a girl but it's not it's more like maybe it's the love for the fans i wonder if that's what they're doing here too i don't know I'll put that in the comments <laughs> Oh wow, he has a deep voice. Man, I always wonder how like a group of like seven people can really sing in a song together. You know, how does that look in the studio? You know, how do you like incorporate that idea of like you get this part, you get this part, you get this part? Like, that's crazy organization, man. But so far, again, he's just continuing on saying that there's just he loves you. There's no reason for it. He's just trying to show his emotions. He's overflowing with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I was trying to understand this part, like flower petals dancing around your love. <clears throat> so I guess standing flower petals sprinkled around me, you would feel some kind of emotion, like you're in this kind of date moment. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> I like his voice a lot. Yeah, like this uh, Nike, if that's how you say it. His voice is sick. I love his voice. Kind of reminds me of RM a little bit. Not bad at all, you know. Um, I always like the love poppy songs. They're probably not really my style as much, but uh, if there was some sad music that would just blow me away, I'm trying to think of a song like by BTS, like uh, Wildflower. That song was so inspirational. So like an inspirational, sad song, put that in the comments because it is. That's my style, and I definitely want to listen to it. But we are going to continue. I've only listened to two songs, right? Two, three songs uh, by Inhypen. So we're going to continue, and I want to discover uh, who these guys are and what kind of music they're making, and let's just do it. Put it in the comments. Tell me what I should be listening to. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.